Okay, so that's pretty much a lot of stuff on Chiari 1. Maybe now we'll just go to uh, Chiari 2 malformations and, and spend a, a little bit of time on this because um, it's not as common as it is, you know, the Chiari 1. So, um, and by the time you get into your uh, positions of um, residency and faculty, there'll probably be even less cases, in my opinion. So, um, this this rears its head, the carry 2 rears its head often in the early postnatal period in uh, children that have neural tube defects like myelomeningocele. Uh, strider and apnea can be emergency signs. And as mentioned, a cervical laminectomy is required uh, below the level of the hindbrain herniation. And as mentioned to you before, the torcula, right? So that's where the sinuses all converge uh, may be lying low. So you want to be careful about that. And here's an example of what this looks like. So um, here's cerebellum, of course, but what you're seeing here is the uh, vermis that's kind of coming right down. It's got this kink in the medulla, uh, cervical medullary kink that you can see here. It's quite common. Uh, the tentorium is normally lying like this, so kind of horizontal, but here it's more vertical. And, you know, and sometimes I've seen them all the way down to um, C1, the, the insertion of the um, torcula can be all the way down here. And if you start opening the dura merrily across the um, sagittal sinus, you'll regret it, uh, you know, um, the rest of your life, because that's a really bad complication to have. So study your MRI scans carefully, make sure you know where this is located. If it's way down here, be very careful about opening up any dura. The real operation here is between C1 and uh, C3 or so in this kind of case. Uh, so taking off the posterior cervical lamina is important. Uh, these are just some interoperative images of Chiari 2 malformation showing you what it looks like uh, in, the, in the days when we did a lot of these uh, decompressions. And I must say, it's becoming less and less uh, common nowadays to have to do uh, Chiari uh, 2 decompression procedures, but... Um, it's quite a bit different than the carry one that I demonstrated to you. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.